Fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me for the second part of my Tactical Marine Review series. And today we're going to be looking at Mark III or Iron Armour. So, Mark III armour was the second um, pattern of Astarte's powered armour uh, to be created in the game history. And this uh, type of armour is unusual in that it is the only specialist application type of basic or standard type powered armour um, that exists within the marine armoury, setting aside um, Terminator marines or anything like that for example. Um, and this is a, so this gives this particular suit of armour an interesting uh, slant in terms of its game history and then you know also means you can actually influence the gameplay a little bit with it and I'll come to that later. Mark III or Iron Armour is a modification on the original Mark II Crusade suit uh, and its purpose is um, it has been configured with enhanced frontal armour um, to facilitate uh, high intensity combat situations where the Marines are expected to be coming under a lot of fire um, without cover available. So typical examples to this um, would be uh, tunnel clearance fighting um, or boarding actions and indeed um, Mark III armour is somewhat synonymous with breach marines from the Hor Horus Heresy. It is a frontal assault or um, tunnel fighting um, armour suit that has been up armoured um, to increase the survivability of the marine. Now you can't actually buy a squad of marines Mark III armour in the game uh, with any uh, bonuses to their protection. However, in the Horus Heresy, you do have the option of purchasing certain Marine squads' um, hardened armour, and certain squads, such as Breach Marines, come with it by default. And there is a little bit of a game influence there. But let's take a look at a Marine first um, and just understand what this protection looks like. So, so these guys, so this set of Marines, the, this is two packs of the uh, Iron Hands Legion Tactical Mark III squad. And this is the only um, complete resin model set that Forge will do uh, of a tactical squad for any Legion. Um, so, you know, and I, as collecting an Iron Hands Legion, I feel quite lucky to be able to get these because this, this is actually a really good kit. And what you get is you get five Marines, you get, the, um, fo you get five Phobos pattern bolt guns, and you also get a Vexler and a Nuncio Vox. So it's a it's a yeah you know, it's a really good kit. And if you're doing squads of ten, you tend to find you've got some spare Vexlers and uh, a Nuncio Voxer, so it's a good source of spare parts because normally these come in command upgrade sets. Anyway, so yeah, back to the armor. So it's it's a very visually brutal armor, and one of its described uses is as a suit of armor for ceremonial guard purposes. Uh, and you can see this as evidenced by this heavy front plate that's been added to um, the standard helm, an enhanced cuirass, and then additional frontal armour plates on the legs. And if we look at it from the rear, um, we can indeed see the standard, the normal banded style Mark II armour bit on the rear of the um, trooper. Uh, and then there's some additional enhancements as well. Um, the forearms have got these heavy van brace guards against further enhancing the protection. And finally the shoulder pads are, are bigger and somewhat more heavily constructed with these, um, these raised guard sections on each side. Now, as I say, this is the Iron Hand specific pack, and there are a whole set of Iron Hand specific um, characteristics. I mean, you have these chains, which is quite a quite a Tenth Legion thing. Um, you have all these guys have got bionic uh, right arms. We have this cog tooth patterned design running around armor pieces. Uh, then you have. A then you have a cog on the armor plate. You have these raised guards have been given the cog, cog tooth design as well. Uh, and then we have an iron hands um, bas relief mark uh, on this shoulder pad here. So yeah, overall a really cool miniature set. And 
it just further enhances the already visually aggressive look of Mark III armour. Uh, as with my Mark II squad, I've added uh, accessories, so uh, Phobos bolt pistols to match the Phobos bolt guns, uh, and then also ammunition pouches. And you can see here, you've got a bolt pistol and a bolt gun magazine there. Huh? Not clip, as I called it in the other one, a magazine. Um, yeah, let's take a look at another trooper. Let's have a look at the Vex of Libera. Uh, another part you get in the kit is this uh, handheld scanner, so um, something equivalent, a bit like an augury scanner, perhaps. Um, so one of the things about this set is, although it is Iron Hand specific, um, the only places, arguably, that you really have the Iron Hand's iconography is on the shoulder pad, and you know you could cut that away. And actually, if you were doing any sort of mechanicum orientated part of the Marine Legion, you could use these guys. You know, particularly you know they'll make make an excellent base for Tech Marines, for example. Another neat thing is all these Marines have got a lot of cybernetic ever enhancements on their bodies. Uh, and this guy's got this uh, targeting device grafted onto the side of his helmet. And then the uh, Iron Hands Vexler as well. And this this is just as it straight comes out of the pack here, this one. Um, as you'll see on, on my other, as I go through my other squad reviews, um, and I did another video on this as well, I've converted several of those to give them a, each one a unique look. Of course, Iron Hands, we've got Bionics. And again, a great source um, if you wanted to get an interesting set of Bionic legs. And obviously in this case, it's very specific to a Mark III trooper. So, you know, they, these could easily be used on other legions as well. Now, with, um, with building these guys, um, attaching the pouches and the accessories is quite tricky because you've got the additional armoured bulk. They are bulky, no doubt about it. And particularly these um, these forward thigh plates on the legs, they make it quite hard to attach the pouches to the belt. So what I did is I, uh, I attached the bolt pistols, in effect, kind of like on the, on the back of the trooper's belt. And then in the case of this guy, I've, I've split the ammo pouch piece up into a bolt gun and a bolt pistol magazine and then a bolt gun magazine and I've clamped this onto the leg as if you might imagine it had some sort of um, uh, some sort of force attaching it. I mean I don't know it could be perhaps it might be magnetic perhaps it might be electromechanical like a van der Waals force uh, as in a like a gecko uses uses to hold to a, a vertical smooth surface and this guy's almost like a almost looks like a dedicated marksman for the squad with his targeting op optic and uh, taking careful aim with his uh, Phobos bolt gun. Here's another nice um, individualistic model in the squad. And this guy's got some um, additional sort of cybernetic style cabling running into his helmet. And the detail on these guys really is beautiful I mean if we just take a look at the bionic arm you know you can see you can see how how the whole thing goes together really well you get a very rich looking model these bionic arms uh, are, are really nice very nice models um, one modeling tip for these guys is these wrists are rather thin at this point here you can see where you've got sort of like a narrow bit and I've had several of mine break, so it's perhaps worth, if you're to buy these guys and have them holding the bolt guns one-handed like this, as you have to do, because there's a lot of one-handed poses in this kit, um, it's perhaps worth cutting that and pinning it as a precautionary measure to avoid it breaking later. Yeah, really good. <clears throat> as, I, um, as I said in my introduction, um, you, this armour can have a slight effect on the game. Well, not in name, but if you, um, if you have a squad that's equipped with hardened armour, um, you enter into a strange little oasis of survivability, as I call it. Uh, and basically what it means is any failed saving throw, 
or any failed armor saving throw against a blast weapon, you're allowed to re-roll that saving throw. So on a 3 plus save, that actually works really well. And if you're, being, if you're up against opponents that have a lot of low AP blast weapons, taking squads with hardened armor is really good. They're actually more survivable against that attack than a Terminator Marine, believe it or not, because there's only a 1 in 9 chance of failing that save, where a Terminator has a 1 in 6 chance uh, of failing the save, saving throw. So there's an odd, as I call it, there's an odd little oasis of survivability there where these guys, for some strange reason, can, uh, against certain attacks, are more durable than Terminator Marines, which uh, I think is more of an oddity, a bit of an oddity of the game, the way that rule's been designed. It probably maybe wasn't intended as such. Just for humour, this guy's got a combat accessory on. Um, at one point I, I thought about putting combat accessories on all of these guys, uh, so you get those in the kit as well. I mean, you always get the combat accessories with any um, set of bolt guns that you buy from Forge World. Um, but after thinking about it, I thought, well, I would I'd leave them off because, to be honest, Iron Hand Tactical Marines are not particularly interested in melee fighting. It's not their, it's not really their speciality, and there's, there's special rules for the Iron Hand Legion that do actually um, inhibit them. Just from the point of view of that, it's harder for them to charge uh, than normal Marines. But yeah, I've got one on just for giggles there. Oops. And then let's have a look at one more, one more trooper. On this guy, I kind of uh, I went very tactical, and I clamped this bolt gun magazine onto his chest plate because he had some free space there. So I thought I, I thought that looked rather rather cool. And again, it just goes to show you know with any with these ammo pouches, but with any ammo pouch type accessory, you can um, you know you can. You can really sort of like think about creating interesting looking models and you know a good idea there is look at some mo look at some pictures of modern day soldiers and see how they carry their ammunition and particularly um, I mean look at the line infantry but particularly look at specialists um, so you know people such as the uh, British SAS uh, or the US Navy SEALs Delta Force um, you know, and you know every Western nation and most of the nations has got an equivalent. So you know, look at look at images of those guys just to see the interesting and novel way those sort of operators carry their ammunition. And there you go, as I say, you know, get some ideas for how you could set your own Marines up. So yes, there you have it. Um, that is an overview of Mark III Iron Armor uh, Iron Hands Tactical Legion Squad. Uh, by Forge World. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching that. So thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.